All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to configure a static route from a router. And, uh, and basically what a static route is, is you're just teaching the router a route to send packets. That's all it is. You're just teaching it a route to send packets. That's all. Instead of doing it dynamically, which is automatically like through OSPF or RIP, we're doing it manually, statically. So I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to do that. So what we want to do is we want to take this router right here, 10.1.1.1 and we want that to reach this network over here 192.168.1.0 we want it to reach that network so we're going to input some commands and that's going to reach that network through the next hop the closest hop which is 10.1.1.2 this interface right here gigabit 000 so let's go in and configure so router 0 can reach 192.168.1.0 let's do it all right, so enable conf t. Actually, no. Let's let's show IP route first. So we're going to do show IP route, and we're going to check check our our direct connection. So where the C is, we'll see 10.1.1.0. That is the first network, the network in between router zero and router one. So we have that directly connected. We also have 10.1.1.1 directly connected, and that's this interface right here, gigabit 000. So those are the two directly connect, most di directly connected uh, interfaces. So what we're going to do is we're going to add one. So conf t IP route. Then we're going to put in the destination IP address. So that's this network, 192.168.1.0. We're going to put that in. Next, we're going to do a space after the subnet mask, and we're going to put the next hop. So the, the next hop from gigabit 000, what's the next hop? Right here, gigabit 00010.1.1.2. .1 so we're going to put that IP address in. And just do a no shutdown, just because. Oh, we're not in an interface, so never mind. OK. so. Now, how do we check? How do we check to see what we did work? Okay, so enable comp or en just enable show IP route, and you can see right here we're reaching this network 192.168.1.0. This network right here, we're reaching it via this this interface, this next hop 10.1.1.2, and that's how you uh, create a static route.